Ohio Department. Championship rules. We have five three-minute rounds. Punches, kicks, and knees are the legal strikes. No elbows, throws, or sweeps. And as we saw earlier tonight, three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight, and it's a TKO. In Chicago, three judges will be scoring this belt using the 10-point must system. Scoring is looking at knockdowns, damage, clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, we're looking at aggressive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your headline super bout of the evening. Five rounds for the women's super bantamweight championship of the world between a German juggernaut and a small bundle of dynamite ready to explode. This bout sanctioned by the Illinois State Athletic Commission and at the opening bell, your referee is Chris Wagner. From Chicago to Shanghai, glory kickboxing fans are watching in over 170 countries around the world. It's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger. Fighting out of the black corner, a three-time world champion, six-time European champion. Her professional record, 36 wins, 10 losses, one bout scored even, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, 1.63 meters, and weighed in at an even 120 pounds, 54.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Hamburg, Germany, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Miriam Uslu. Here now is her opponent, standing on the left and fighting out of the white corner. A five-time champion, making her first defense of the glory belt. Her record, 17 wins with two losses, one bout scored even, and five career knockouts. Standing five feet four inches tall, 1.63 meters, she weighed in at an even 121 pounds, 54.9 kilos. She fights tonight out of San Diego, California, and she is the reigning and defending glory super bantamweight champion of the world. She is Tiffany the Time Bomb Van Soos. Once again, your referee in charge of this championship bout is Chris Wagner. Right here, right here. All right, ladies, this is for the glory championship of the world. I want a nice, clean fight. I'll my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the the corner I tell you to go to. The man that's how I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch him up. Chris Wagner, the George. referee in charge. George. And according to George. Nick Kalikas at MMA Oddsbreaker, the closing line, Tiffany Van Seuss, a minus 1,000 favorite. Ten to one odds. Do you agree with that imbalance, Joe? Well, I think Uso is a little bit more talented than that. She's very dangerous. She's going to constantly come forward. You're going to see her use her aggression. And she needs to do that in order to shut down Tiffany's movement. The world champion, Tiffany Van Seuss, wearing the white gloves. Uslu in the black. And it's interesting that Uslu did take this fight on short notice, but still says, my path to victory is to wear Tiffany down over five rounds. Van Seuss back in the ring for the first time since winning her title in December, fought an MMA bout. She was victorious there. But do you expect any ring rush from the champ, Joe? No, she's constantly training, and what makes her... Um, even better in this fight is she's te teamed up with her old coach back in San, uh, I think in San Francisco. So you're going to see her getting back to her old kickboxing ways. And Sue said she was disappointed in the opponent switch, but a fight is a fight, and I'll take her out. Tiffany made no bones about it. She just doesn't want to win tonight. She wants the knockout. She has 17 wins and only five KOs. Do you agree with that braggadocious statement that that's what she's looking for? Well, she could just be saying that to hype up the fight, but I know that she has a lot of knockouts in her earlier career. And yeah, it's fun to knock people out. This is why <laughs> we're in the sport, and we all want it. So, yeah, I assume she wants to go for it. Nice one-two there from Van Seuss. But it's that movement, it's that distance control of Tiffany that's oh. going to make it very hard for Miriam to land. 
Right here. Fight. Uslu, when told that Van Seuss was looking for a knockout, said, good luck. I've never been knocked out. And I don't plan on starting tonight. Uslu with 47 professional fights. Uslu fighting out of Hamburg, Germany. Tiffany constantly switching her footwork. She's coming in southpaw, orthodox. Looking to come in and attack. Move in on an angle, exit on an angle. Van Seuss won her world title in Germany. Uslu said, listen, I'm a fan of Tiffany Van Seuss. I love what she does. I love what she represents. It's an honor to be in the ring with her, but I will not be intimidated, and I won't back down. And right now, she's just controlling the center of the ring, letting Tiffany fight on the outside. She said her strategy was to try to wear Tiffany out. So by controlling the center of the ring, letting Tiffany move what? around her, Rick? staying in her face, that's the strategy to tire her out. Ten seconds. Nice straight punches from Tiffany on the inside. Good way to close the first round for the champ. Four rounds to go here in Chicago. As for Mary Muslu, she's standing in her corner, Joe. Yeah, each fighter takes a different approach. I like to stand in the corner by sitting down. Some people say the, the blood and the swelling can pull to your round feet. Two, I two. was a stand-up guy, but I get why people are sick. There's Elise Herrig, UFC Fight. fighter, coming off a very impressive performance. Glad to see her here in Chicago. Former kickboxer, and she's a big fan of Tiffany Van Seuss. Yeah, and she's a big fan of kickboxing. She's come to every show in Chicago so far. Round two, and again, this is a title fight scheduled for five. Tiffany looking like she's putting a little bit more power behind her shots now. Nice right hand from Tiff. Van Seuss looked fantastic in our tournament to declare a champion. She went 3-0 and and won in the final against Amel Debbie, one of the best women fighters in the world, and Van Seuss looked very comfortable in that bout. Yeah, Debbie was undefeated at that time, too. And she had to fight two fights in one night in Germany under the big Rico Botter banner. Tiffany just looks a little bit quicker, doesn't she? Stop. Yeah, it's that movement, it's her angling, it's the way she stays so cool and fluid and the way she flows. She calls her style poetry in motion. If Uslu's strategy was to wear Tiffany down, the only thing, the only way I see it working right now is that Tiffany's just throwing too many punches. Yeah, but she's opening up. Those knees are really loosening up Miriam. This is where Tiffany's might get her knockout. She found those knees. When she hurts Uslu with those knees, she followed up with a nice combination, landed a good high kick. And we've got blood coming out of the nose now of Uslu. Stop! Break! Break! But a very solid round here for Van Seuss, who's starting to inflict some serious damage. Nice high kick there, though, from Uslu. Still coming forward. But that kind of walks Uslu into those time bomb knees. What would you say is Tiffany's best strike, Joe? Well, she's very talented in talking to her. It was her left kick, and she really hasn't found that left kick in her last few fights, so she's motivated to try to land it. So I'd go with her left kick, but... Her timing is really good. She's got good straight punches. She's just an all-around good fighter. So far, Tiffany looks untouched right now. Uslu, on the other hand, her face is getting puffy. She has blood coming out of her nose. One couple of knees to the head. 
And then upstairs, a clinic right now for Van Seuss. Tiffany's doing a good job at those arm and body kicks. She just threw a straight right to the body, follow left hook. And what's impressive, Joe, at least to me, is that Van Seuss is fighting great when she's pressuring and even better when she's walking backwards. Yeah, she does it both. That's why girls get frustrating when they fight her. It's very hard to hit. She'll hit you and not get hit. A very impressive round two for the world champion. Let's take a look at some of that work, some level changes with her punches, but a lot of the good damage in that round happened with some of those knees that really opened up the defense of Miriam. Tiffany went on the attack, mixing in punches, back to the knees, but what I really liked from Tiffany in that round were those arm and body kicks. She did a good job at mixing up the left and the right side, and she's just doing a good job at landing in those, those punches, and especially those straight punches on the inside, but a lot of credit to Miriam, who keeps coming forward, even though she's taking all that punishment. Well, Joe, we see all the great things Tiffany Van Seuss is doing. What does Miriam Uslu need to change right now? Well, it's very tough. In order to beat that movement style of Tiffany, you have to pressure her. So Uslu really needs to stick to Tiffany and just really try to grind her out on the inside. Uslu not known as a one-punch knockout artist for sure. Very few females at this weight class are, but she does have 12 wins by knockout in her 36 victories. We're in round three. Scheduled for five. This is our main event here on the Glory Super Fight Series as Van Seuss going upstairs. And it's that left kick she really wants. She really wants that knockout to come from that left kick. She's slowly taking her time, going to try to set that up. And right now, Tiffany Van Seuss, of course, our champion, but just signed by Glory, Anissa Mexen, and that showdown seems to be in the card. She won her Glory debut at Madison Square Garden. Joe, what would that fight look like if it takes place? It'd be incredible because both of those girls have similar styles. So it might be a very hesitant fight with both girls respecting each other and showcasing good footwork, or it could be a banger. We'll Not to look. To, we'll have to wait and find out. We don't want to discard Uslu just yet. She's still in the fight. Is landing punches, but not at the rate that Tiffany Van Seuss is. Well, according to fight metrics, it's Uslu that's a lot more active. She's thrown 107 strikes versus only 69 of Van Seuss. But Miriam Uslu connecting in an 18% percentage. Van Seuss, 55%. Oh, and a right hand right on the button for Van Seuss, but Uslu still standing. Yeah, she did throw some punches in that exchange, too. Didn't land as hard, but just shows that the punch is still there. Tiffany looks like she's just having fun in there right now, not even breathing heavy, Joe. Just very calm, very relaxed. And she does train hard, trains in Bali, trains in California. Says she wants to fight one more time this year. Could certainly see her fighting at Madison Square Garden. We hope to have her on our last MSG card. At Glory 43, but here she is in Chicago. Now Uslu opens up because quite frankly she has to. Yep, she's doing good when she's coming forward with those straight punches. One, two, she's walking in, one, two. She's got to keep pressuring, one, two with those punches, come inside. There you go. What's interesting, Joe, is when they both exchange on the inside, Tiffany ends with either a knee or a kick, whereas Uslu just goes with the hands. Yeah, and Uslu really comes forward. You see why Tiffany's getting the better of those changes. She gets her head off center line. She moves her feet just outside, so her head's no longer on center line, but Uslu's keeping her head on center line, so that's where Tiffany's getting the advantage. Well, Tiffany Van Seuss is our world champion, but believes if she doesn't defend it at least once, she was never a champion in the first place. You know, it's easy to, it's not easy to win the, to win the title, uh, but it's even harder to defend it. So I feel that you're not really truly the champ until you defend your title. Getting there is one thing, but staying there, it's, it's harder. Once you're the champ, you've got what everybody wants. You've got that target on your back, so you're going to get everybody's best.
Well, she's getting Uslu's best, but her best isn't close to good enough, at least through three rounds. Yeah, no, she wants that knockout, and she's going for it, but she's doing a good job at staying relaxed. A lot of times fighters want that knockout too much, and she knows it's a five-round fight, a lot on the line, so she's doing a good job at just staying relaxed, finding the knockout, but when she does attack, she's doing a good job at really pushing forward, so she's really mixing the two styles. So here we go. We're ending the championship rounds. This is round four now. Two to go here from Chicago, Illinois. You're watching the Glory Super Fight Series. Tiffany Van Seuss, the champion, wearing the white gloves with those laser-fast hands, taking on Germany's Miriam Uslu. Oh, just ate a left kick. She crowds down, covers up, and now Van Seuss going for that knockout. She so desperately wants, and our referee, Chris four, Wagner, will call two, that a knockdown. Three, four, five. Six, seven, and the referee stops it. It is a knockout for Tiffany Time Bomb Van Seuss. She defends her title and remains unbeaten here in glory. She wanted it and she got it. She was very patient and the way she set it up was beautiful. So good job at Tiffany at taking her time to really set up that incredible knockout. Everything was working for Van Seuss. It was a kick boxing clinic tonight by the best in the world let's see how it started here it was oh. boom it was a nice front kick to the face it was a left kick she wanted it follows up with some of her punches some knees on the inside let's see i think it all started from that left front kick well, in the fighter questionnaire, we ask all of our fighters what their favorite move or technique is. And Van Su said, it's my left kick because it always finds a home. And it found it there. And here is the knee that looked like it's to the body. And then left hand misses. That one pushed her back against the ropes. Chris Wagner, the referee, thought the ropes kept Uslu up. And he calls an end to this fight, and there were no complaints at all from the German. No, it was all from that left front kick that seemed to do the most, where Miriam couldn't recover from it. But Tiffany was just going to continue to put that power and those combinations together and overwhelm Uslu. But bang, it was all that left front kick. Perfectly timed right under the sight line of Miriam. So Tiffany Van Seuss with her six. Knockout. She improves to 18, 2, and 1, 4, and 0 oh in glory. We'll make it official from Chicago when we return to the Glory Super Fight Series. Here to the Sears Center, where Tiffany Van Seuss has defended her Super Bantamweight title for the first time and did it in knockout fashion. A fourth round TKO over Miriam Uslu as we jump back into the highlights. And the highlights all are from Tiffany Van Seuss. She came in, did a good job at staying calm, staying very relaxed, picking her shots. And Uslu did a good job at continuing to counter back and try to fight back, but Tiffany's footwork and distance was a little too slick was able to avoid the damage and give the punishment back. Nice right hand from Tiffany, which she found multiple times in this fight. And then this fourth round, Tiffany finds that left front kick, continued to put the pressure on, went back to the knees. 
push Uslo off balance. Referee Chris Wagner calls the fight. Tiffany Mansus told us that she's stronger than ever and more confident than ever leading into this fight. And she looked like it tonight. As you can see, she landed 67 total strikes, almost double what Miriam Uslu was able to do. Let's make it official now. Back into the glory ring and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of 36 seconds of that fourth round when our referee Chris Wagner steps in to wave it off for your winner by technical knockout and still glory super bantamweight champion of the world, Tiffany Van Soost. Here to present the belt, our chief executive officer John Franklin and Robbie Timmers from our Glory Sports International Talent Ops. The champ is still here, and right now, Whitney Miller will have a word. Tiffany, congratulations. My God, what a performance. You put on a clinic tonight. Describe what's going through your head right now. Right now, it's just, uh, it's, it's all just sinking in. You know, I, I set a goal, I visualized, I worked hard, and I came out and I made it happen. You certainly did. Now, in the earlier rounds, she seemed to be taking a lot of punishment from you. Were you surprised by how much punishment she could endure? I knew she was going to be tough. She's seasoned. Again, thank you to her for coming in on such short notice and taking the fight. Tremendous respect. You guys, give her a big, giant hand. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, yeah, she's a tough opponent. I'm just thankful. I'm grateful that she was able to take the fight, step in, and uh, allow me to come in here and do my thing. Who do you want next? Who's next? Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Tiffany Timebomb. So Tiffany Van Seuss, 18, 2, and 1, gets that knockout she wanted. Yeah, Kawabunka, dude. There's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan club. That's because, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Comic-Con weekend here in Chicago. And Tiffany Van Seuss walks, around, walks out with that very impressive white championship belt. The question from Whitney Miller was a good one, Joe. Who's next? Tiffany didn't want to answer it, but I think we have an answer. Yeah, we have an answer. And it's definitely got to be a Nick, uh, Anissa Mexen. She's 88 wins, only three losses, had an incredible performance at Glory 43. So it only makes sense to have Mexen versus Van, Van Su. Well, hey, let's be honest. That's the reason that Glory signed Mexen. We need someone at Tiffany's level. Mexen is at Tiffany's level. If not, maybe a step further, that fight will be outstanding. Maybe we'll see it in New York come December. Who knows? But, Joe, I would have to say the highlight of the night came from your guy, Rob Thomas, out of Bazooka Joe's gym. What a knockout he had over Warren Thompson. Yeah, he started a little slow, and that's one of the things we're working on. But in that third round, once he found that uppercut in the right hook, it was good night for Warren Thompson. All right, that'll do it for us from here. For now, a great night in Chicago for the entire Glory production clue, crew, including Whitney Miller and Joseph Baltolini. I'm Todd Grisham. We'll see you next month in Amsterdam. Good night from the Windy City. Saturday, September 30th, it's Wham Bam Amsterdam for Glory 45 Super Fight Series. A clash of the titans with heavyweight Testy Gerges and Mladen Brestovac. Middleweight Madness with ex-champ Jason Wilness against Jasuri Belgarwi and lightweight rising stars Tajani Bezdadi and Yutkampan Zitmonchai face off. Glory 45 Super Fight Series, Saturday, September 30th. Don't miss it.